Alright, now the final thing that we need to do is compress our video into an AVI file using a codec that's good for editing. Now before we do this, there's one last thing I'd like to suggest. Let's open up our script, and I would suggest that you add a line that says Dean, parentheses, and we're going to put quotation marks, and inside the quotation marks we want to put W3D, and after that we want to put comma, 3, comma, 4, comma, 6. And now what this command is going to do is this is going to clean up the video a little bit, remove some of the noise, and it's going to make the video compressed to a smaller file size. You don't have to do this, but I do recommend it. Now, to compress the video, we've got two options. We can either compress the entire episode, which is going to be rather large. A full 25-minute episode is usually going to run about 4 or 5 gigabytes in size. Your other option is to just choose small clips and encode only those individual clips instead of the entire episode. First I'm going to show you how to do the whole episode. Go up to video and you want to make sure this is set to fast recompress rather than full processing mode. You always want it on fast recompress. And now we're going to go to compression and we're going to choose lagrith lossless codec. This is a great codec for editing. And we want to go to configure and you want to check this box that says always suggest RGB for output and these other settings are fine, let's leave them where they're at. This use multi-threading box, um, only check this if you have multiple CPUs or if you have a dual core CPU. Alright, we'll hit OK. And now all you have to do is go to File and choose Save As and choose a file name for your AVI file. And then it's going to start saving your file. And this can take a little while. So just wait on it to finish. And once it's done, you've got a great AVI file that you can put into your editing program and have at it. Now your other option, if you don't want to save the entire episode, is to just save small clips. Now let me show you how to do that. First let's find, a, find where we want to start at. Now if you added the Dean line into your script, then that's going to make it a little slower as you're trying to look through the file. Now let's say I want this scene right here. I go to where it starts, and I click this button right here to set the starting point. And then I go to where it ends. Alright, and here's where the clip ends. I'm going to click this button to mark the out point. And now I've marked an endpoint and an outpoint for the clip. Now I can go up to File and choose Save As and put in a file name for it. And down here I want to check this box that says Don't Run This Job Now. Add it to Job Control so I can run it in batch mode. Then I just hit Save. And then I go and find another clip that I want. And let's just say Start Right Here and go over and end it right there. And there's another clip. Let's go File Save As, turn a different name for it, and this is still checked. Now I just keep adding as many clips as I want. And then when I'm ready, I go to File, uh, Job Control, and we can see here it lists all the jobs that I've told it to. And we just hit this button here that says Start. 